Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's been creating quite the buzz lately, artificial sweeteners and diabetes. You've probably seen them everywhere, in diet sodas, sugar-free snacks, even in your morning coffee. But the big question is, are they the magic bullet for managing blood sugar levels? Or could they be causing more harm than good? You might think that just because something is labeled as sugar-free, it's automatically a healthier choice, especially if you're trying to keep your blood glucose in check. But things aren't always that simple. Stick around, because what you're about to hear might just surprise you. We're gonna break down the science behind artificial sweeteners, look at their benefits and potential risks, and help you make an informed decision about whether they belong in your diet. So grab a cup of your favorite drink, and let's get started. All right, let's get started by understanding what artificial sweeteners are. These are synthetic sugar substitutes that are often used to sweeten food and drinks without adding extra calories. You've probably heard of some of the popular ones like aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin. They are significantly sweeter than regular sugar, so you only need a tiny amount to get the desired sweetness. This is why they're so appealing, especially for those looking to cut down on calorie intake. For people with diabetes, controlling blood sugar levels is a daily challenge. This is where artificial sweeteners come into play. They don't raise blood sugar levels because they are not carbohydrates, which is a huge plus for diabetics. But the question remains, just because they don't raise blood sugar, does that automatically make them good for you? Now let's talk about some of the benefits. One of the biggest advantages of artificial sweeteners is that they can help people with diabetes enjoy sweet tasting foods and beverages without affecting their blood sugar levels. This can make it easier to stick to a balanced diet. For instance, a diet soda sweetened with aspartame can be a guilt-free treat compared to a sugary soda. Another benefit is weight management. Many diabetics struggle with weight issues. And since artificial sweeteners contain little to no calories, they can help reduce overall caloric intake. This is important because maintaining a healthy weight is crucial for managing diabetes. Studies have shown that using artificial sweeteners in place of sugar can help with weight loss or prevent weight gain, which in turn can improve insulin sensitivity. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some potential downsides to consider. Some studies suggest that artificial sweeteners might have an impact on gut health. The gut microbiome, which is crucial for overall health, could be negatively affected by the regular consumption of these sweeteners. This disruption might lead to glucose intolerance, which is counterproductive for diabetes management. Moreover, there's a psychological aspect to consider. Some experts believe that consuming artificial sweeteners might lead to a sweet tooth, making you crave more sweets and potentially leading to overeating or choosing unhealthy foods. This is because your brain still craves the calories and sweetness that it associates with sugary foods, even if you're technically consuming fewer calories. So what does the research say? It's a mixed bag, honestly. Some studies indicate that artificial sweeteners can be beneficial in moderation, while others highlight potential risks. For instance, a study published in the journal Nature found that artificial sweeteners might induce glucose intolerance in mice by altering gut microbiota. On the other hand, the American Diabetes Association supports the use of artificial sweeteners as part of a strategy to reduce overall calorie and carbohydrate intake. The key takeaway here is moderation and personal response. Everyone's body reacts differently, so what works for one person might not work for another. It's always a good idea to monitor how your body responds to artificial sweeteners and discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider if you decide to incorporate artificial sweeteners into your diet. Here are a few practical tips. First, try to use them sparingly. While they can help reduce sugar intake, they shouldn't be the mainstay of your diet. Aim to enjoy natural whole foods as much as possible. Secondly, pay attention to your body's signals. If you notice any digestive issues or changes in your blood sugar levels, it might be worth reassessing your use of artificial sweeteners. Keep a food diary to track what you eat and how you feel, which can provide valuable insights into how different foods affect your health. In conclusion, artificial sweeteners can be a useful tool for managing diabetes, but they're not a one-size-fits-all solution. They offer the sweet taste without the sugar spike, which can help with blood sugar management and weight control. However, potential risks like gut health issues and increased sweet cravings need to be considered. Ultimately, the best approach is a balanced one. Incorporate artificial sweeteners if they work for you, but don't rely on them exclusively. Focus on a varied diet rich in whole foods, and always consult with your healthcare provider to tailor your diet to your specific needs. Thanks for tuning in. 
We hope you found this video helpful and that it gave you some valuable insights into the world of artificial sweeteners and diabetes. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest health tips and insights. We're really curious to hear your thoughts. Have you had any experiences with artificial sweeteners? Maybe you've found them helpful, or perhaps you've had some concerns. Whatever your story, we'd love to hear from you. So drop a comment below. Your experiences can really help others in our community. Until next time, stay healthy.